Here and I, I'm already taking over. Is that bad? You guys start. You guys yeah, start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We start. <laughs> <laughs> guys, my name's Dean Bay from the Crate Flexible Office Space, and this is Rory from the Marketing Guys. And today we have Monique Bradley from Your Fix TV and Your Fix Communications. Yeah. How did, did we do? Um, I don't know that it was entirely authentic, so let's just, you know, think like a tree, let's be present. <laughs> and kia ora guys, welcome to today's show, it's Carpool Honcho, I'm Monique Bradley Whoa. and I'm here with Dean and Rory yeah. for the best show yet. How was that? Did you like that? Very good. Yeah, I thank you. That. I'm a natural. Smashed it. At <laughs> so guys, we got Monique from Your Fix TV and Your Fix Communications. Tell us about the name. There has to be a cool yeah. reason for that name. Okay, so here, the high, the, I guess the story behind it is that I have worked in TV for a long time. I've worked in film and TV, in fact, for 27 years. And one of my favorite jobs was I was actually a TV shopping presenter working with Mike Pudu on, a, on right. a channel called Yes Shop. When that job ended, my partner, Pete, who's utterly brilliant, awesome he guy. has a background in mm -hmm. IT, 24 years experience. He said, I'm going to build you an online internet TV channel. And I said... Oh, yeah. And I said, what are we going to call it? And I said, well, why do people watch TV? Because they want to get their fix of entertainment, funny cat videos, stuff like this, inspiration, motivation, education, escape. And that's how your fix happened. We wanted to give you your fix of great content just like this. Fantastic. So that's how it happened. Then we found working with people, content is one thing. It's what you do with it that actually makes impact. Yep. So we'd find people have, and you know this too, I know that. people have problems with their websites, their digital uh, media, or even how to get their message out there. So that's where we Become your fix communications. Love really cool. it. It's quite cute, eh? Right. I think we better start driving. I we're know, right? Run, I could yeah? be here all day, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so if there was one song, just one, just one, oh. that gets you motivated, that is like okay. a theme song to Monique Bradley. What is it? <laughs> Tell us. Okay, it's a really good question. Everything since I've been really young has been about my voice. So I've been an opera singer. Uh huh. And really? Yes, what? yes. I started training when I was eight. Oh, when wow. I was eleven. When I was eight, I started training as a professional speaker and people would always say I wish I could speak like you now my goal is to enable people to speak like themselves authentically but most importantly I want them to and I'm giving you a clue I want them to take their message and shout it to the world with wild shout abandon it it, yeah. To the world. yeah 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 in fact this is one of my favorite songs it is shout by Lulu Woo Woo Come on, then. don't you make me want to shout So tell us a bit more about that song. Okay, so that song is a good question actually. Um, the first time I ever sung semi-professionally when I was 11, so mm -hmm. I did my I did my first recording in a studio when I was 11. Crazy, oh, yeah. Wow. But the first semi-professional song I sung was actually another song by Lulu and I just thought, um, this is this is so great. You know, my parents introduced me to music when I was really young and my parents were both speakers and educators. And for me, just the power of our voice and being able to share music uh, or the, the things that we say that influence other people and how, how we can inspire their lives. I guess it's always just really been part of it. Mm. And the stories in music, we can take that same methodology and use it in our media and our marketing, which is really what's happened for me. It's yeah. so cool, so cool. Yeah. So I've got a question for you, yes. Monique. As we drive down the street now, uh -huh. I see a whole myriad of businesses yep. and they've got beautiful advertising up. Mm -hmm. um, but we drive along here and they're just getting lost. And mm -hmm. a lot of these businesses just add great value. They do. But they're getting lost. And why is that? The, the, the media world is so crowded and it's crowded with the messages that businesses think they should be sharing, which mm -hmm. is here is what we do. When people, particularly consumers, are going to make a buying decision, especially if it's a, a bigger dollar value. So I'm dealing with companies who are in, you know, home transformation through to, you know, mortgage brokers mm -hmm. and things like that. When you're dealing with something that you're encouraging or helping people to buy, it's not just what you do that sells. 
It's who you are, Correct. how you make a difference. Correct. And if you're not articulating that in your media and your video content, if you're not sharing your passion and, and your why behind your business, you're not building a, a relationship of trust with your ideal client. Mm. And that means your competitors are getting the work. Yeah. It's yeah. so true. Yeah. Yeah. And stories are it's everything. Amazing. Yeah. And story, uh, you know, your story, right, is so powerful. Um, and, and I guess if you do operate out of a space of why and a deep conviction as to what you do it, then you're passionate about it. Oh, and when you're absolutely. passionate about it, people buy passion. Yeah, they people do. buy love, they right? They do. And um, that's got to drive us. And I think, too, if that why is so big, if, you're, if your vision is so big and you're so deeply connected to it and you know how you make a difference in other people's lives, even when things are tough, you will overcome those challenges every single time. I, I see it in every business that we work with that when we cut down through the stuff that they think they should be saying through to the heart and through to oh, the, nice. the story behind the brand. And you guys will see this in what you're doing with these mm. chats. When you get to that, that's the thing that spins their wheels. And we buy when we see people who are in flow, who are excited about their yes. business, who yes. offer so much value and it's effortless for them. Yeah. Mm. So I'm getting a sense that you're really passionate to help people and help helping businesses. Where does that passion come from? Really good question. So I think a lot of it is my parents worked from home and always ran their own business. My dad was a, a motivational speaker. I guess oh, that's probably cool. the term you could use for it. <laughs> Um, and my both educators, musicians, performers. So I grew up in this house of words and saw very quickly how words can really um, impact other people's lives. So mm. in a, just to flip, flip it on its head, for me, like pretty much every person I, I encounter, we've all experienced bullying, bullying at different levels. Uh -huh, and yeah. um, I learned very, very quickly the language of, of the intimidator, I guess you could say. Uh -huh. And, and how being myself in their eyes wasn't enough. Wow. Mm. And so I guess for me, being able to learn other language stylings, like the language of the innovator, the language of the influencer, oh. the informative language speakers, being able to harness the power and potential of those and the inspirer. You'll notice there's a bit yeah. of a theme there as well. Oh. It's part of my teaching tools. <laughs> um, all these other language tools are also so important. And I think for me, when I found my space in performing arts and I found that I had a voice, the bullies couldn't touch me. Wow. I found my safe space and now I'm finding other people who feel like they're not good enough and they, you know, trying to get them on camera, they don't feel, I see this malaise come over them where they go, who am I to be on camera? But who are you to deprive someone else of your brilliance? Yeah. This is amazing. Like when you can really, make when you really can make powerful. impact yeah. in somebody else's life, why wouldn't you? Well, and as business people, which is our <clears throat> primary audience yep. here, you just got me thinking that you know, <laughs> is there a correlation or an equivalent of being personally bullied to being yeah. bullied in business? Absolutely. And have you seen that? Yeah. And, oh and yeah. I guess how do you sort of help people? sort of overcome that yeah there's industry wide um, you know every, everybody experiences it mm. you know in personal relationships family it, it's everywhere and it's just literally that, that moment where somebody else is going this is my world view and this is my perspective and you're not matching that perspective and so we're they're reacting to that oh we are oh. we are but to be honest um, to be honest once you once you really understand your value and how you make that difference nobody can touch you yeah wow well, it your sets story you apart. is your story right it no is. one can argue with it and it's not a place you necessarily need to sit and and rule your life or or your choices or your behavior because of what happened to you or what yeah. you experienced for me i took that learning flipped it on its head and and said to myself well how can i use that experience to help others find their voice and across industries it doesn't matter what industry you're in whether it's between you and a client it's all exactly the same. And the methodologies I teach are exactly the same wow, as well. That is cool. So you're the communication expert. You're the yep. expert behind camera. <laughs> sorry, in front of the camera. And behind camera too. Well, yep. That's okay, true. And then you take us and you make us look like we're the experts in camera right now. Like audience. You are. Wow. You are. <laughs> look at what you yeah. guys are doing. I guess what this I'm platform. trying to say is a lot of people fear the camera, right? Mm. Ah. Mm -hmm. yep. um, but you make them look good. What's your magic? How do you do that? 
First thing I do is when we work with a new client, we profile them. So often people will tell us what they think we should be hearing, and my job is to get rid of that yeah. and get back to the authentic language and and what really is their passion. That's the story I want to tell. And as a trained actor, you learn about text, which is a script. Mm -hmm. And then an actor will also learn the art of subtext, which is what people instinctively resonate with. So as an example, um, when an actor goes, no, I'm fine. Like, I'm really, I'm okay. We know what's actually going on. When you go on camera, if your message isn't in alignment with your natural type or with um, with your values, yeah. people see through that. That doesn't build trust. You won't get a sale. Yeah. It's that simple. So for me, teaching people about that and how to really create content which is congruent to their personality mm. type, um, I don't want anybody else to be like anybody else. I want them to be themselves. So they come across natural. Yeah, because yeah, you're yeah. getting them to speak what is in their heart yeah right? I don't want them to be like me I want them to be like them because that's where the magic is yeah so it's a mix of that and then teaching them some tricks to help with things like getting anxious and how to overcome that how, how to overcome self-limiting beliefs when they're on camera it happens all the time yeah I hope crazy. every one of you guys are listening <laughs> to this because you can use this in your everyday lives yeah I so agree. as the communication expert what yep. is the most unseen opportunity in marketing these days oh really good question if you're not on video if you're not doing things like this you are missing out at the moment new stats from hubspot hubspot just released that when people are making a buying decision 70 percent of that sale done is through youtube videos so if you are not oh, out wow. there on youtube i know right <clears throat> if you're not out there you're missing out on an opportunity and I'm not saying you have to do this. Do you. That's the best, most important thing. Share your message. Share your value, most importantly. And for us now, I mean, my heart is in television. So being able to do what we call omni-channel marketing, which yeah. is television, print, digital, a lot of digital. That's really yeah. my background. That sort of cross-platform approach or ubiquitous marketing is another term for it. That's where the magic is. If yeah. you're not everywhere, you're yeah. missing out. And people buy from people, right? Yeah, they so do. You get your face out there. Get yeah. your personality out there. You can there do it. Not everyone's going to like you, but there are people that are going to want to do business with you. Right? I agree. And yeah. I always say, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm somebody's chai latte. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. All right. Monique okay. Bradley yes. from Your Fix TV and, and Your, Your Fix, Fix Communications. Communication. We want to work with you and the amazing Pete. <gasps> what does that look like? How do we get started? Okay, great question. We've got question. 120 to wrap this up. Okay, okay. 120 <laughs> to wrap this up. Um, first, reach out reach out and the first question is how can I actually help you so whether it's you're not sure how to get yourself out there or you want help with your video content or you just want to get a strategy that's going to work for you across multiple platforms let's have a coffee that's how it starts well let's do a zoom if that's easier for you and we'll just share some ideas that's literally how it happens yeah, and from there for me it's about building a relationship of trust because my job is to help you tell your story in the best way possible and that starts with trust so Don't yeah. you love it when you sit down have coffee with someone yeah and uh, in that conversation, you just feel a million times better. Well, that's oh, happening in the car right now, no, guys. So it's please so cute. take the opportunity to have a coffee with Monique. Uh, get a it's hold of best. her through the details on this post. Oh. And uh, we want to thank you for being part of our show today. Oh, yeah, the thank you, guys. Honcho, so being good. our honcho, our head honcho on the car today. I can't, I can't get over. Like for me, thank you for filling my cup today. Um, because it's so nice. My job is to shine a light on other people, and to have that back, I cannot. Thank you enough. Thank you. It's yeah. just so lovely. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I want you to know. I say I want you to know right now. Thanks to the great. You guys rock. Yeah. <laughs> thanks to the marketing guys. You guys rock too. Woo also, a big shout out to Business with Locals. If you haven't been, come and join us. Come on. Woo and finally, Toyota, we love you guys. I want you to know right now.